Patriots Caucus, it's a special time. We got uh, one, you know, one of our favorite Republicans. There aren't many we like up here, but we do like this guy, Representative John Cross. We're back. I'm back. <laughs> How you doing today, I'm brother? I'm good, man. I'm great. How are you? What, what brings you happy, to Columbia? Happy Wednesday. Thank well, you, man. Well, we're working today. We got some votes yeah. on the floor. We're trying to get things moving, get ready for a budget, get wrapped up. What are you, what are you going to do? And what's all your fans going to do? Listen, fans. Hello, Rooster fans. I love you. I love your comments. Uh, shh, don't tell anybody. Um, first off, what are you going to do when we leave, John, first? We get the budget done, uh, and we've got Ohio perfectly buzzing in the right direction, and this place is going to be a ghost town. It's, I don't know. I'm gonna gonna, be, gonna, yeah, I'm going to have to ride my bike. I know, so maybe, right. I, maybe I'll go to like Michigan and bust yeah. up some legislators <laughs> there up there go. or something. There you go. Or, or Columbus uh, City Council Hall. Yeah, that is, there you go. What do we got today? Yeah, speaking of Columbus, man, we are living under the tyranny of mayor's suburbs. I'm not sure. You said you said uh, you saw the dispatch article. Yeah, there's this the, there's the this solar. deal where Mayor Ginther brokered this 30 year deal with this. Uh, so and I'm a solar guy. I'm green energy. You know, I'm I'm all for it. Sure. Uh, with this out of state Florida company, and he's not even disclosing the the amounts or the rates that we're going to be paying for the next 30 years. Not even city council members so get they, that information. They sign the well, and I'm under the impression that under Section 18 or Article 18, Section 13 would give the legislator uh, the power to force that deal open because I'm of the belief if they're trying to hide something, you know, if it's such a good deal, why wouldn't you want transparency? Your, you know, exactly. Well, if it's a good deal, you should be proud of the deal that you struck and you should talk about it. And, uh, you know, I saw the article. First thing I, you know, first thing is today is 614 day. And uh, I don't know why the 419 has got to come to Columbus <laughs> and say the 614's ass every time. But once again, uh, Mr. Mayor of Columbus, let me offer you some good advice. As I did as I did with him on uh, High Street. You heard about my idea. Was, don't go after the businesses on the High yeah. Street and the Short North. They're not the problem. Shut down High Street in the evenings and you can create a wonderful entertainment district. But here's the other idea. Come to the 419. Don't, why, why go to Florida to get energy? Come to Hardin County. we got solar panels. Come to Northwest Ohio. There's solar panels, wind turbines, nuclear plants. Uh, guys on bicycles, however we can create the energy, you can find those deals here in Ohio. Now, I don't, I don't know why there was such a great deal in Florida, but it just goes back to, we, we if we're gonna try to uh, generate energy in Ohio, let's let's uh, let's get it from our sources here in Ohio where we can. So, you know, I, uh, you know we'll see what the uh, Columbus wants to do. But, you know, the 419 is here to help the 614. Oh, we're yearning for some of your solar powers, brother. Like, I, it's just the arrogance, you know. I, same thing with the, uh, the street meat vendors. Like, they shut the, the street meat vendors down for the mayor's convention, came in. Here, Mr. Mayor, let me, let me talk right to the mayor. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, if you need my help, just call me. I'll, be your dep I'll come be the deputy mayor of the day in Columbus, Ohio, and the 419 will save the 614. So don't be afraid to call. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I got one last, one last right. question. I'm asking all Republicans. All right. What, how, who you got in 2024? Fred DeSantis, Trump. You ready? Yeah. John Cross for America. Yeah. I, should I run? You should. I, should I mean, you'd be, you'd be more entertaining than DeSantis. Uh, probably. I mean, you, probably. you and Trump would be a hell of a debate. We would, oh my God, it would just be, uh, uh, you know, we, we, <laughs> there'd be we, blood on the floor. We would, we would, your subscription would just go out the door. Uh, I don't know. I haven't thought about 2024 yet. There's uh, a lot of people uh, running. Uh, I thought Tim Scott did a nice job in his introduction to his campaign, and uh, the Trumpsters still going to run hard. So we'll see. I haven't, uh, I haven't backed a horse yet. So no. I'm just trying to get through wins. I, I mean, I hang out with a lot of saw the earth Republican voters. It's all where, Trump. Where the, is all Trump? I yeah. think so. Probably in my district, I'd say there's probably still a lot of. Uh, solid hardcore support around Trump. And what is he? That seventy percent support right now, or something like yeah. that. So, um, wouldn't it be great to elect somebody not in their seventies or eighties? Right. I like, see, like pick a side. Like, yeah. listen, listen. We all eventually get old, and uh, and it, we just gotta step aside. And so, eventually, you're making decisions. For a time, you're not going to be around anymore. Yeah. Well, that's very true. I mean, yeah. you think about like, as we've talked before, with school policy and other things. If we're making decisions down here 
for the, the future generation. I think that we'd want to have that those generations close together making the right decisions for the future of our state and our country. But listen, uh, the, the presidential uh, politics will be fun and exciting and, and lots of good content, lots of great conversations. Uh, I just want to get through this budget. Get yeah. this are, are we holding line on the budget? Because Huffman's overcooking my grits, brother. <laughs> <laughs> The he's at the top. The he's house, at the top of the bus. The house list is right here now. to save the day. I think the house is going to fight hard for things. That, listen, the house put together a fabulous, balanced budget. A lot of good things in there on several issues. You can talk about schools, energy, uh, healthcare policy. It was a uh, a good bipartisan bill. It was a good uh, balanced budget. And now we just got to fight to put some of our things back in that the Senate took out, but that's that's okay, that's legislating. That's just a good old fashioned arm wrestling match. Uh, my hopeful is that we have a really good product we can be happy about come July 1st. Cause, Cause that seems to be the theory that Huffman's trying to curry favor with, you know, the whole, uh, Marin and all his folks. Cause he's, uh, he's coming back to the house and I'm he wants sure to speak his gavel. The politics of the state house is active and alive, but I'm, I'm more focused on uh, helping our house members who, got, who worked hard to get good policy in the budget, if it didn't end up there in the Senate version, which we'll see today, that we work and help them out to get some good things back. I remember being a freshman legislator down here. And, and this were the times, 2018, was, was, right, what a year. Challenging, but you know, there's a lot of good members who did a lot of good things and I want to help them out. And I think that's part of my job and responsibility. So that's the fun part. It, I love deal making. Is, you know? is, the school, is the school money, uh, public school money gonna stay in? Well, they, the Senate version reduced our school yeah. money. I mean, they took a lot of our rural dollars. And put in and, universal and, vouchers, right? Yeah, so I, I would like to fight hard to make sure that our public schools get their dollars back, uh, and rightly so. And I think once again, like we've talked about before, you can have a balance of appropriate school vouchers and support for public funding, but you know, um, we'll, we'll see where that So it will, it, you say, well, it will go to conference committee? I'm confident it will go to conference committee. You saw my quote in the gauntlet. Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. I looked it and, up. Uh, you know, we, that's, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with going to conference committee because all that means is we're just going to go work out our differences between the House and the Senate. And it's a healthy way to legislate because if you only have one chamber, uh, doing things and not another. That's that's why legislating is tough. It should be tough. It should be tough to pass. I mean, it's bad enough Huffman already controls the Senate like he does. Well, so you know. Well, you know. Starts uh, dictating two chambers and well, might we, as well just make him king. We we will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he would like that. <laughs> we we're here to uh, do our part. Make sure that the members of the House have their voice heard too. Well, I appreciate you, man. Thanks, all I, the Mr. fans. <laughs> have a great. Uh, I'll see you before summer break. Yeah, I'll be But around. if I don't see you all, have a great summer. Enjoy your time. Be safe. Have a, have a blast. Have fun. I'm going to keep leaning yeah. on you about this energy deal. We, we oh, need yeah. the numbers. Well, we listen, we get the numbers. Go go to City Hall and go ask the tough questions. And, and uh, if we can provide a better deal in Ohio and the 419 can save the 614, uh, we'll do it for all those playing the home game. <laughs> 419 is the area code of where I live. <laughs> listen, you know. Listen. Listen, Rooster fans, <laughs> you know that when the rooster goes home, look at look, he, there he is, right? There he is, dressed up with his shirt and all that good stuff. <laughs> but you know when he goes home, when he puts on the robe and slippers, he's like, oh, dear Christ, what a day I had. I uh, that's exactly how I talk, too. I couldn't park the Range Rover, so I had to take the bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I keep putting you on camera. I might be able to get a Range yeah, Rover. Yeah, right. <laughs>